Hello everybody! So today I'm going to um, um, discuss the importance of equitable access to websites for all students in Chapter 8 and address examples of how to use technology and assistive devices to create a classroom designed to meet the needs of all your students. It's video discussion board 4. Yay! So it's very important for teachers to like provide an equitable access to all of the websites because not all of the students are are exposed to uh, technologies and how to use or navigate such websites. So equitable access means more than simply providing devices and connectivity. It's not that just giving them the uh, opportunity to have like a computer and then connect to internet. It's not that. It's very important for teachers to go ahead and uh, have the students access the websites and then teach them how to use them appropriate appropriately so it also means giving every student the opportunity to learn from teachers to understand how to use the technology both to enhance learning and create quality learning experiences for students with special needs so especially for 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 our students is for younger students who don't know how to use Google Classroom Google Docs or Google Slides it's very important that we teach them little by little on how to use them so as time goes by when they go to fourth grade they have those ample informations that I have and then skills that they can use also as well so basically why is it important so nowadays um, we're into technology everything is um, and technology especially with this pandemic that is going on Every, we are learning and teaching remotely. So technology offers the potential to improve education for disadvantaged students, um, regardless of at home availability, but only if all students are able to fully participate. So what I do in my classroom in order to address this is that I ensure that individuals know how to access the technology. And I also tell them if they need help, they can go to this website or they can just come to me and then I will show them how to do it. So, how would I use technology and assistive devices to create a classroom designed to meet the needs of all my, of my students? Sometimes when we discuss, discuss something and there are students who still like kind of having hard time. So what I do in my classroom is that I give some students like uh, different activities like some of them are doing independent work and some of the students are working with me and then some students who are right in the middle who kind of know how to like navigate the websites accordingly. I let them go to a particular app just like freckle.com format, BrainPep Junior for vocabulary words and format also as well and they can also access some available videos in YouTube with my permission and then anything that they could access, especially with the English learners also as well. I, tell, I always tell them to like, go ahead and find a picture of this item, go ahead and draw something about it, and then make use of it in a sentence. So technology is very, very important, you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.